Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the world famous, most incredibly beautiful family on the internet. That's right, it is the Inghams, right? I know you love them, I love them, you love them, Tom Jones down the road loves them, we all love them, right? We're going to be talking about them until we're blue in the face because they love the attention. I know. So, today it is going to be the huge Dubai Christmas Mall Hall. <laughs> Christmas Hall Mall. Something. Anyway, something to do with Christmas. Something to do with a hall. Something to do with Sarah having gone shopping. Because why not, obviously. Um, but there's also a private water park involved in it as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing that too. So together we'll watch it and uh, uh, come up with our own conclusions. Alright, let's get gone. Finally, the Raccoon Christmas merch line has been launched. It is the long awaited the true crime is not believing collection so you can get it all manner of merch including hoodies t-shirts notepads and even even actual christmas ornaments for your christmas tree this year so head on over to the merch store link in the description box below your support is much appreciated thank you so much let's get right back into the video Okay. Wow, that's so funny. <laughs> Rah. I mean, this garden's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Toffee. Did you say good morning, Toffee? Is that what I heard? Maybe, maybe I'm mishearing things. I think my ears are playing up these days, so... Yeah, Sarah, Sarah, just a word of warning for you, okay? Stop filming your kids and putting them on the internet, right? Nobody wants to see little children running about um, on the internet. Nobody wants to see it. And if you do want to see it, it makes you weird, right? Okay, warning to iFam, makes you weird, honestly. I'm talking to you, Nicola, and you, Mama Don Duns, and um, all the other ones, right, that watch them day after day after day, right? It makes you weird if you want to watch little children who are not your own, right? I'm not dissing the Inghams for wanting to film their kids, right, because they are their children, right? It's the act of putting them on the internet, which is the issue, not the actual act of filming filming them right just to make that clear so chris and sarah that is where you stand on this search and this this issue right okay got it stop filming the kids and putting it on the internet that's my point Guys, you best believe that Chris just made me come outside to open this package so that I don't drop mess on his floors. On his floors? That's not controlling at all, is it? No, it's not at all. I thought you both paid for it. Maybe I was wrong on that one. By the way, Sarah, tell him to fuck off, right? Just say, I'm opening it, right? It's a package, I'm opening it, I'm doing it now, right? That's all you have to do and get on with it. It's not his flaws, by the way. It's your kids' flaws. Hey, were the ones actually paid for this? Absolutely boiling today, so the hair's gone up. Good morning, iFam. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm sat outside because I'm about to open a package that I am, I should not be this excited. Now, some of you guys, this is probably going to be really controversial, so I'm just going to say it right now. I don't care your opinion. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. You can argue as much as you want. It's not, it doesn't matter. I'm not bothered. 
hear that, iFam? Your idol, your beautiful goddess, that is Sarah Ingham, does not care about your opinion, right? Listen to her words. She doesn't care what you think because she's going to do what she wants anyway, right? She doesn't care. And uh, you might think she's joking, but she's not actually, right? So anything that she does in her life, she doesn't care what you think about it, ever. Um, I saw one of these in the mall a few days ago, and I said to Chris, that's what we need. Um, that's what we need for Jason Miller. Because Jace is five years old, and this that's what's controversial, the fact that I'm gonna put my five-year-old in one of these. If he wants to, obviously. And when you're in a really busy mall, like, in fact, let me tell you a few reasons why. When you go to Dubai Mall, it's massive. It's not a small mall. It's one of the biggest malls in the whole world. And a lot of the time, Jason Miller's, some of the times, you know, their legs get tired. And that's okay, my legs get tired. But not all of the time when their legs get tired and they want to leave, are we quite finished shopping? Okay, right, but this has happened to many families down the years, throughout lifetimes. This same scenario has played out, and yet there's never been a real major issue. So what is it you're about to show us, Sarah, because I'm getting concerned? And so there's been often times where I've said, I wish we had a buggy board, or I wish I had something. Because on the front of the stocker pram, there's like a, a foot place that one of them can sit, and so only one of them can sit on there, and they do use that a lot. Um, but there's been so many times where I've said, I wish we also had a buggy board so that I could put something on the back so that the other one could sit, so that they didn't have to walk around anymore when they're tired. And before anyone says, he's five years old, he should be able to walk around all day long. I don't care what your opinion is. I don't care. All right? I'm not justifying if my five-year-old's tired walking around a shopping mall. But he should be able to walk around. Yes, kids get tired. I get that, right? And um, But again, kids have been getting tired for generations right and they've just got on with it it's a part of um you know growing up um also i would suggest maybe not dragging him around dubai mall one of what you said the um one of the biggest malls in the world uh day after 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 day right perhaps possibly that might be one solution to this problem and secondly it gets blooming busy in there. Like, sometimes we go and it's really nice, and then other times it's absolutely heaving, like absolutely heaving. And I've said to Chris, as well, I'm constantly like, where's Jace, where's Mila, where's Jace, where's me? I'm constantly looking around. The older three girls are at my height, I can see them all the time. Um, and they've obviously got phones and things if they were ever to get, you know, lost in the crowd. Okay, so here's a solution for you, right? I have the solution. Right, you've got three young children, right? The three older ones can look after themselves pretty much, or can they? But the three younger ones really need looking after, especially in a busy mall, right? That's natural, right? So what you do is you put um, the little one in like a buggy or a pram or whatever it is that she'll go in. Um, you put Mila... Mila and Jace, you can hold their hands, right? You hold their hands. You do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This this may be a bit of a, a controversial opinion, right? But I don't care what you think, sir. I don't care. It may be controversial, but I really don't care. Okay? You hold their hands. You've got two parents, right? There's you and there's uh, the other one. Chris, right? You hold their hands, the, the the younger ones, so that they don't get lost, right? That's what that's what parents do in general. Instead, I know this is a controversial opinion again. I know you're gonna think it's controversial, right? But I really don't care. Instead of holding a camera in one hand, you hold your kid's hand. Do you see what I'm saying? Do, do you think that's a good idea? No, no, okay, no, no. That, that's just going too far, bloody hell.
board. But there's been so many times where I've said, gosh, I wish we had something that like, you know, boogie board so I could just put Jason Miller on while it's so busy. Because obviously we can hold hands. Sometimes I don't want to hold hands. Sometimes it's really hot and, you know, you know, I just, I just wish we had something to put Jason Miller in on times where we, it's really busy. Anyway, that's my justification done. Whether you agree with me or not is irrelevant. I've bought it, so it's tough. <laughs> And I'm so happy about it. I saw one of these in the mall the other day. And I said to Chris, oh my gosh, that's what we need for Jason Miller. And you better believe, you literally better believe I came back home to the house that night and I ordered it. I ordered it straight away and it's arrived. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Right, let's unbox it. I'm also well aware, guys, that I just said I'm not justifying myself as to why I've let, I'm letting my five-year-old go in this. And then I just spent like four minutes starting the vlog, completely justifying why. Such is life, that's just me. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I am so excited, even in this heat that is utterly ridiculous right now. Can you hear the hoover? Chris is literally going for it with the hoover and has banished me to open this out here. Is this a box in a box? Seriously. This is just a box in a box. on earth okay instructions are definitely going to need to be read okay it's in 80 million pieces and it's hot out here let's see how quick I can assemble it I'm sorry who invented this who invented this you need a pay rise don't know how much you've got from inventing this but what <laughs> No, I actually love it. I actually, before I show you this, I actually showed Jay's a picture of this yesterday. I said, something coming for you, and it's really cool. And he's like, oh my gosh, what is it? So I showed him a picture and he went, hmm. He clearly didn't want to hurt my feelings, but he went, it's kind of cool, but I'm a bit old for that. I know he's definitely going to use it when his legs are tired. But he's like, but it's not really that cool for me. <laughs> but I can push Mila in it. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. So even your five-year-old agrees with us all right even your five-year-old agrees with the rest of the world that uh, it shouldn't be a thing and yet you thought yeah <laughs> it doesn't matter what you think jace it doesn't matter oh, i don't care what you think i'm just gonna feed my shopping addiction anyway and get this buggy for you <laughs> so number one if jace doesn't want to go in this which he definitely will because there's so many times where he wants like you know when his legs are tired but even if he didn't like this is fantastic for aurora and mila speaking of aurora where do you intend putting her when jace and mila are in this buggy right do you not think that she might wanna or or is she okay is her legs her legs are okay are they 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 don't get tired or anything like that is that what you you're saying she doesn't need she can walk around she's toddling now so she can walk if she wants to she yeah off you go off you go little baby Ooh, off you go Ooh, Ooh. and jace can push them it's not going to be wasted that's my point so jace can use it if he needs to and if he doesn't then Oh my gosh, are you ready to see this guys? I've never seen one of these before. It's the most ugly but funky looking thing I've ever seen and I love it, I'm here for it. Are you ready? Boom! <laughs> guys, I'm sorry but what an absolutely cool. What in the actual living God is that? What the bloody hell is that thing? What is that? What is that? So, okay okay even sarah said it's the ugliest thing in the world but why she love ugly things right i mean well she loves chris i guess um uh but she 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 just loves ugly thick thing it's got an umbrella guys it's got an umbrella sorry um <laughs> shit <laughs> I got it's actually got an umbrella. Oh fucking hell. Little ugly spaceship. 
This is the best thing I've ever seen. What a great invention. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. That umbrella, right? It reminds me of this. It reminds me of this. That's exactly what it is. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? Invention. You've got one child facing this way. You've got the other facing that way. And then you've got the sun umbrella that you can just take off, obviously, if you're indoors. How cool is that? I'm sorry, but it's just the ugliest, but best thing I've ever seen to just really light and ease, easily push your toddlers around if you're somewhere busy, like shopping malls at Christmas time, etc. You are aware that Jace is not a toddler, though, aren't you? I mean, Mila is barely a toddler still, right? Jace is going to be six in a few months' time. That's right. He's five and a half months old. Five five years, five months old, right? Yeah. Five, not five and a half months. Five years and five months. No, he's not. Five years and a half. <laughs> so five and a half, right? He's five and a half. He's not even close to being a toddler at all. Oh, my gosh. I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> I should not be this excited. Okay, Mila. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you definitely ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready to see what I got? Mm -hmm. When we're going shopping and you get tired legs. Yeah. Look what I got you. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Do you like it? Of course. Is it cool? Yes. So, can you put me? Yeah. Hi. I can't believe the time has finally come to go to Waterworld. Yay! <gasps> We've had a right nightmare, guys, trying to get here. Basically, to do anything, well, not to do anything, but to do the Waterworld, you have to book a slot on the app of the community we live on. Now, when we tried to, when we got this house in June, we couldn't register on the app because the previous owner was still registered at our address. So, Chris went to the community hub once to try and take them off. They assured him it would be done within the next 48 hours. It wasn't. I went to the community hub to tell them it had not yet been done. Please, can you assure us it was going to be done? They said it would take 24 hours. It wasn't done. But, given, you know, granted, we didn't need the app at that time. So, we just didn't go back, did we? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's better. Um, we didn't need to use the app. So, there was no real rush in getting registered. So, we just kind of left it. When we came back and the water world was obviously open, we went over to the community hub, Chris did. Come on. Come on, guys. Chris went over to register, because we still couldn't register on the app. So how many times have you been back? Three, since we got here. We've only been here a week. He's been three times. And the last time he went, which was not yesterday, the day before, he asked to speak to a manager. He said, can I speak to a manager? Because like, you know, we've been in this house now since June. We're now in November. We still can't get registered on the app because our address is still registered under the previous tenants. Sounds a little dodgy there, Sarah. Doesn't it sound a little bit dodgy? Right? What's going on with your house? Have you actually asked the, the owners of the house what's going on with that, you know? So the manager said, okay, well, um, I've done something to the system within 24 hours. I know I can't go. Look at these two. <laughs> this is just the cutest thing ever. So sweet. Anyway, yeah, the manager said within 24 hours it will be fixed. That was two days ago. Got up this morning still. Can't do it. <gasps> right, so we've not been able to book because to come here you have to book through the app. And the last time we were here... Chris said, can I just book now then with you, the manager? And he said, no, sorry, you've got to do it on the app. Chris went back this morning and he said, you're taking the mick. You're taking the mick now. I've been back here about six times since June and I still cannot get on this app. And now I'm losing out on doing 
experiences in this community that I'm paying for. You're paying for doing experiences within the community, are you really? Um, I thought you were paying for the, for the property that you're living in. You know, you're renting that out. I mean, <laughs> by the way, right? You've actually complaining that you're not able to do things that you are paying for, but you are, have literally been away for what three months, and you're paying the whole time when you're not having access to anything, not even your house. Because you're paying pa as part of like your rent and everything. You know, when you're paying for your rent. I'm sure it all includes fees of all of the stuff we get here. Um, so when you're paying your rent, you're sure it, it, it must include access to these things. Is that an assumption of yours or an actual fact? I can't use the facilities to sort it out. So they haven't, but they did book us a slot <laughs> to come to the water world. Come on, you two. Um, they have booked us a slot, so we've got a slot now today at the Water World, which I'm so glad about because I'd have been so gutted if we'd have had to go home again and not get to experience it. Our friends that l live near us, come on! So, yeah, our friends, they came over, he came over to us a couple of days ago when we were in the pool. He was just by himself, he was heading over to the mosque. His family weren't with him because they do have children as well who play with our younger ones because they're younger. Um, and he was telling us that the water world's really good. He was like, it's fab, like it's supposed to be a two hour time slot, but people generally just go and stay. Um, and it's just a really great, great afternoon. It's great to take like a picnic. I'm so excited to try it. Ah, it's too windy. But yeah, people just go and take a picnic. Um, and also, he did say that some days it's literally virtually empty, but obviously on weekends and things, it gets quite busy. So I'm glad we've got yeah, just in case you were under any illusions about where they live or don't live in Dubai, you know, there's nothing like walking past the signage for the actual area that you live in, you know, the, the cluster or whatever the fuck it's called, right? You know, but yeah, um, always try and protect where you live in, Sarah, isn't it? A space today. Okay, first time on the Lazy River, and we've just come to the waterfall. Whoa, it's not here. Here we go. <laughs> Raji. Guys, I'm sorry, but I can't believe we have our own private water park. It's amazing. Like, what the heck? Obviously, pri I don't mean private to us, you know, I mean private to like our community, but what the heck? I'm sorry, what, Sarah? You have your own private water park, but it's not private, it's for the community, but it's still private, but it's not private because it's for the community. What are you going on about, seriously? It's not your own, right? It's not your own. <laughs> oh, real. It's insane. It's so fun. There's like slides here. There's like obviously we've never been here, so it looked great when we looked. Give me the camera. You're vlogging me at a horrible angle. <laughs> it looked fantastic when we saw it, but like to be here and like feel it and the atmosphere that's here, it's so cool. Also, we do like um the best on water it's called but movie nights here yeah. on the water. Yeah. Like you oh you, you get them big rubber rings, them ones there that should pair me. Everyone gets one and they put a movie on the big screen. It's so cool. It gets really shallow though. Oh, just pedal dash my butt. <laughs> it gets really shallow near the steps. Oh, she's she's going to be asleep in a minute. Yeah, she definitely She fell asleep in the pool yesterday. Did you see it? She fell asleep in this boat actually yesterday. So it was so cute. Oh, 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 her eyes are going. She's going. <laughs> she's like, good girl. Oh, she's telling.
Look how cool this is though. one of the best chilled most relaxing afternoons ever I, I, I honestly I, I, I don't know how I come across when I say this because I don't want it to come across as I sound like I'm bragging or I'm being big-headed big-headed or anything but I genuinely feel so lucky that we've got this oh my god it's insane like I want to go back right now can you imagine like you finished school you know what we are you joking can you imagine if you finish school? Can your kids imagine when they finish school, they head on down to the water park, you know? Can your kids imagine that? No, they can't because of their pathetically selfish parents. In this evening, like, it, it just, what we're doing this evening, let's go to Waterworld. It's not just that, it's that you can go there and you can order for I was just about to say, people were ordering the their takeaway to the pool and, you know, you, the delivery, the Talabat, the, the Kareem, they were all, like, taking pizza orders and all sorts to the, to the people's sunbeds. It's amazing, man. It's you pick your amazing. kids up from school, let's get straight to Waterworld. They get to be out, outdoors, they're getting vitamin D, it's they're getting that. exercise. And they're getting takeaways, <laughs> you know, you got to get that in there as well. Um, yeah, that um, that sounds fabulous. It's what every kid wants, just to pop down to a water park every single day after school. Um, it soon wears off on you, I think, these sort of luxuries, you know. Um, unless you're in Ingham, of course, and it's your, your content and you need that to, to earn your cash, obviously. You turn around. So you park your car in the car park for it. You've got a, the, the guys here service your car, wash it. We've got a, and then, we've got a mini fill this side. Here, fills it with fuel. Fills it up with fuel. Whilst you're waiting, whilst you're chilling at the pool. It's honestly so insane. Like, it's just so cool, like, way of, it's just such a good way of life, honestly. I, I know I felt like this when we were here last, last, in May, when we came in May. But coming back here now is just like, I don't know, do you, do you kind of forget how good it is, don't you, when you go home? I, I went back in the UK, I kind of forgot like how good it was and now that we've been here for this last week, I've just been like, wow, this has just been the best. It's not even just that. I absolutely love it. When we came, when we were here before, it was, we were so busy all the time, sorting out That's work stuff, fighting. sorting out all sorts of stuff, like behind the scenes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, we were. Loads going on, and now that all that's settled and done. And it's just it's done just, now. Just, now we know the place, it's just, now it feels it really... It feels homely, homely, doesn't it? Yeah. And just so nice. And I'm really looking forward to coming back after Christmas and, and, and like buying the girls bikes and stuff and being able to go on family Electric bikes. scooters. Don't they already all, all have bikes or am I mistaken on this or did they leave them behind in the brick house back in the UK? I mean, most people when they move, um, they take all their stuff with them, but not the Inghams, no. They, they need two of everything because it feeds Sarah's shopping addiction. Definitely. That, that defeats Everyone's the object of the amazing. exercise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Buying bikes and being able to go on like family bike rides because also obviously when we were here in summer I got a little bit panicky about the heat because I was like I don't know if I can live here like that's so hot. I didn't quite think like that but it was. But now that we've come back now and it's just so perfect. Like you could, it's like you know the sun's gone down it's the night time now. All through the night you can still be outside swimming yeah. in your costume. But it's not unbearable it's no. just it's just gorgeous. Anyway I've had such a lovely day today that water world is fantastic. And it's still been developed because they're like building like food outlets there and um, they've got loads of waterside villas coming up all around it and stuff as well which is going to be a really cool investment projects coming up in the yeah. future it's really cool yeah it's just really it's cool. just it's great it's been really fantastic and the most important thing in the whole world is that the kids just thrive here don't you <laughs> they've had the best best time 
ever. It's they love being outdoors, they're playing, they just... I just love it, honestly. I just love it. I just think it's such a great place. I know it gets a lot of stick for certain things, but to me, in my opinion, it's just such a great place to bring up a young family. Anyway, it's been a lovely evening. The plan was to get ourselves ready. I didn't realise that they'd have like such amazing showers here. The shower area and the shower block, oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. I've also, I just realised I say absolutely stunning rather than absolutely stunning. I realised that the other day when I was vlogging, I was like, why did I just say that? Anyway, abs absolutely stunning. All marble and beautiful, but I didn't even realise they'd be there. So I didn't bring like shampoo and conditioner. So we need to go home, get ourselves ready. And the plan was to go to the Cheesecake Factory, originally in Dubai Mall, and do a bit of shopping, like last minute shopping, because we only have like a couple of days left. Um, but we've decided against that now. Then we thought, let's go to Cheesecake Factory down at Marina and not do any shopping, just go straight to Cheesecake Factory. And now we've completely changed our mind and said, let's go home and get a takeaway. If we do not go tonight though, which we're not, not, we need to go tomorrow. I know we're going to the palm tomorrow anyway, but after the palm we need to go to the mall. Why? No reason. Why do we need to go to the mall? What do we need to collect from the mall? I, I left uh, my debit card in um, <gasps> one of the shops. That was so ugly. But if you know, you know. Right. Um, Let's go home. Let's go home and get ourselves ready. I'm going to show you guys. You know, I'm going to show you guys. Um, I need to get out everything I've bought whilst we've been here in Dubai. It's not a lot, I don't think. Um, but I've bought a few gifts for the children whilst we've been here. So I'm going to get everything out when we get back, and I'll show you guys what I've bought so far. You're helping yourself. Uh, yeah, come back again and more, more boxes on the doorstep. <laughs> I love it! You helping yourself? Yeah? Right, I've just got out everything I've bought since we got here. I don't actually think this is that bad. However, I am still waiting on an Amazon order. If the Amazon order does arrive tomorrow before we go out, because we are going out for today tomorrow, then um, I'll just like insert those clips. I'll film it and then I'll insert those clips. But let me show you what I've got here in front of me. Okay, first up is this slime kit for Isla. Now, some of you might be thinking, Isla's 12, why would you get her a slime kit? But Isla absolutely loves these little kits. She's had one every year for the last few years and it was on her Christmas list. So if it's on her Christmas list, I'm gonna buy it. Is it anyone else's business if they think she's too old for it? No. Um, so yeah, so she's like, it's not Christmas if I don't get a slime kit. So I got her one from here in Dubai just because this was quite cheap. I think like when I first started buying these kits, they were like 12 pound. And then the next year they were like 16 pound. And this year when I looked in the UK, they were like 25 pound. This one cost me 10 here in Dubai, English pounds. And it comes with everything she needs. And then I got Isabel one of the, I actually got Isla one. This is one thing on Amazon that's coming tomorrow. Um, I got one for Isla, well Esme bought one when we are last here and then I've bought one this time for Isabel and Isla so it doesn't really matter, they're both the same so one's for Isla, one's for Isabel, I've got one coming on Amazon tomorrow and it's basically just a, well it says there, it's a, cos it's a cosmetic um, organiser and it rotates 360 degrees so you can just spin it the whole way around. I really like these, they're really really nice, I like that they're acrylic and the girls are really into acrylic things at the minute to display their products. And you can move the shelves like higher or lower. So if you've got like a tall product, you can just move the shelf a bit higher or you can just split it. And Isabel has said that she'd like um, acrylic shelves or a display that she can display her perfumes because she's asked for quite a lot of perfumes for Christmas this year. Um, so I got two of those. These were really cheap as well. I'm trying to think how much I paid now for them. I think they were about 30 to 40 dirham, which is literally about eight pound, um, eight, nine pound. So not expensive at all and I know they're good because Esme's got one and she's got loads of products on hers and hers has lasted so yeah I got two of those I got Aurora one of these little insect games I know Mila had one like this as well um, but I thought she'd absolutely love this for Christmas I think all children love things like this so you get the little stick and you get to pull all the insects or worms out of the little apple she'll enjoy playing with that I'm sure I've really struggled with an advent calendar for Jace this year. Um, we're not even going to get onto advent calendars so for a whole nother vlog because I'm doing things a bit differently this year. I just... Anyway, I've really struggled with Jace because 
So the last two years, he's had a Thomas the Tank Engine one, and Jay seems to have just... Jay's definitely Isabel number two. He's just so... Yeah. He's just so much older and wiser than a five-year-old. Like, literally, I wanted to get him a hydro flask, a thermal flask, a thermos one, um, that keeps drinks hot or cold. And I was looking on Amazon yesterday, I found the most amazing Marvel, actual official thermos. And they came in Marvel, they had all the, like, Iron Man on it. I found a Spider-Man one, some princess ones for Mila. And I showed Jay, so I was like, how cool is this? And he went, whoa, that's so cool. But, hmm, I think I might just get a plain black one. A plain black boss one like Dad. Uh, um, hello, you're five, not 15. Like, why don't you want Spider-Man or Marvel? Why do you want plain black? So now I'm panicking, like, I found some amazing shoes on H&M like Converse ones with the Marvel characters on. They look so cool. And I, I didn't feel like I could just buy them. I thought I better just check. What if he just wants plain black? Thankfully, when I showed him, it was like, whoa, they're so cool. I'm gonna put them on my Christmas list. So thankfully we're okay there. But yeah, I've just struggled because he's just, I didn't want to get like the cheapo car ones because he's just got so many cars. He's got cars for Christmas. Like, what do you get for a boy? That's just, what do you get? So anyway. I've got him this, and I hope he'll like it. It does say from 7 Plus, but obviously we'll be, you know, we'll be opening this with him on a morning. Um, so, yeah, hopefully he likes it. It's a Lego one. Jace is not massive into Lego, but when I mentioned somebody else in the family had a Lego one, he was like, oh, I could match them. So he was open to the idea. And as soon as he said that, I was like, right, I'm just going to order this. Um, it's got all of the action figures that he likes and it's still Christmassy so fingers crossed he likes that went to Bath and Body Works and they had a massive sale on well pretty much everything in the shop was like 29 dirhams it was so cheap I actually didn't get that much I'll just show you what I got just gonna set you there whilst I get things out so I got this Winterberry Wonder body lotion and then I've got, what else? I've got this Winter Wonderberry body wash. Then I've got this Warm Vanilla Sugar body wash. And then I also got this Winter Wonderberry. Why have I got three of those? Is this my bag? I feel like the bags may well have got mixed up because basically the girls bought each other some products for their burrow baskets that they're doing for each other and I got extras for each of them but there's three winterberry there which I think are Isla's and there's no thing for Esme no, the one vanilla's for Esme but there's nothing there for Isabel and I definitely bought for Isabel. So I feel like the bags have just got mixed up. But um, yeah, a few, we bought a few things from Bath and Body Works. Okay, I bought these two things for Mila that I showed on the vlog the other day. It's basically little, it's a grocery set and a pasta set, but the, pot, the little pots actually have food inside. Well, not actual food, but you can see they've got actual food inside. It's probably plastic or cardboard, I'm not too sure. Um, but Mila's absolutely going to love this. I just love the extra, the extra play, you know. Make a pasta, you choose your pasta you want, you choose what you want and your ingredients and then your sauce. I just think she's going to absolutely love playing with those. And then, <laughs> put you in the bag, I got these for Jace. I wasn't planning on actually buying anything else for Jace, but I couldn't resist these. They were an absolute bargain. So I've seen these tea racers in Argos, and I was going to buy him some for Christmas. But then I decided instead I'll buy them for his birthday, because he already has so much for Christmas. However, I'm still going to buy him the sets for, Chris for his birthday, so you can get, like, big sets. And I didn't want to buy him sets for Christmas because he's got Hot Wheels and a few other things similar. But I thought it'd be cool to get in these cars for Christmas. I'm probably going to put them in his stocking. These were nine dirham each, about two pound each, which is such a bargain. And it's like a blind box with cars. And you get, let me see if I can show you on the back. So you can like mix and match the cars basically. In fact, no, I'm not going to put these in his stocking because I've got him five. I'm probably just going to pile them up like that and then just wrap them up 
in like one big tube there because that's actually quite a big gift if you do that and his stockings already full but for like less than two pound each i thought they were too good of a bargain to leave and then at the same time i got this for probably mila um it's like a wooden i don't know if you can see that in there they're like wooden counters let me show you on the back there you go and you just basically match the pattern to the fruit or insect or fish um, and these were just less than five pound which i thought were a really really good bargain and she'll actually probably really like playing with those well these are really good for aurora to play with too so whilst i'm saying like mila she'll you know aurora will get some play out of those as well so for, uh, that was a free gift because i spent so much money and then what did we get we got Isabel this that was a crazy amount of money but I did say that I would buy them all a nice perfume this year and this is what I mean when I say like I feel like I've just spent so much money this Christmas because <laughs> it's like if you buy you get obviously I'm not going to get one they're all basically this Christmas I feel like they're all into expensive things whereas last Christmas it was just Esme and that's fine and it's fine that they're all into expensive stuff this Christmas as well but I don't know, I just feel like I've spent so much more. Like, for just as an example, um, Esme has, like, you know, when we were in Sephora the other day, Esme had, like, a £25, as an example, lip gloss. And she's like, oh, I've got this on my Christmas list. And then I look at me and she went, oh, that's on my Christmas list as well. And then Isabel came over and she's like, what is it? Oh, I'd like that for Christmas. I'm like, oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's great. And then I'm like, that's £75 for them all a single lip gloss. You know when people say that they're cheap now when they're kids, wait till they get to teenagers? I've always been like, no, my, my kids are not... I think we're there. I think this year we've just hit it. So I'm like, you know, a single lip gloss, like it's tiny. And that was nearly £100 for all three of them one. It's like, oh my gosh. Anyway, anyway, I'm not moaning. I'm just, I'm not moaning about price. I'm just pointing out that, you know, that's why this year's expensive. Anyway, this was about £130. And that's another thing. As many as it's 130, so is Eyeless. I'm like 400 pounds on them, a small bottle of perfume each. 400 pounds. Oh, Chris is going to be editing this, like sweating his tits off. So I apologise, babe. But um, obviously I could say no. Obviously I could say no, I'm not buying you that. But you know, I'd, whatever. I'm not, I'm just pointing it out anyway. Um, so this is one Isabel chose anyway. I have got her two other perfumes that are coming on Amazon tomorrow. They weren't 130 pounds each, but they were still, you know, quite a bit. But um that's what she wants for her rotation thing so anyway yeah i got her that perfume and then we've got another big bag here from brands for less i absolutely love this shop if you follow me on tiktok you may have already seen definitely these ones because i did a shop with me the other day on tiktok so you might have seen some of them don't know if you'll have seen this one though but for anybody that doesn't know brands for less is kind of like a tk maxx it, it's it's like a tk maxx i love it right i got these i can't remember how much these were but they were only a couple of pound and they're basically toy box, micro toy box things. Um, so that one's got a little teddy bear there. But you do actually get five inside the box as well. And then this one's got one of those glow worms. Who had one of these, like 80s babies? It's not going to turn over now. So you can see its face. Oh, there we go. There we go. One of those little glow worms. Um, but yeah, you get like loads of different toys inside them. And I'm going to send these to Santa so that if those cheeky little elves come back this year and they want to do something with these, then they can. So that's what those are for. And then I got these. Don't ask me what they are because I don't know. Did I buy them just because they were a bargain? Yes, I did. And they were also buy, buy two, get one free. So things with a yellow sticker um, on that specific day that I bought these were buy two, get one free. And these were like £1.20. Um, it's like a fluffy fluffy um sorry fe feathery fluff slime and then inside it you get like two pots and then some things to mix in so that's that one and then there's that one as well so i got those three i need to stop talking so much and just hurry up this is gonna be really long i got this for um, mila because it's just absolutely gorgeous this was 19 durham guys it's like tw four pound and then i also got her this it's all come apart inside but yeah basically it's similar to the melissa and doug one the melissa and doug one i think is about 
I don't know how much it is, about £20 or something like that. And this one, I liked it because it was like pink. Oh, and this one was 45 so about £10. I got all three girls some pens. Isabel got some of these for her birthday, she absolutely loves them. But she did say that some of them had run out and she'd like a top up. And the other two also asked for some pens and colouring books for Christmas. Yeah! They're 15, 19 and 12 and they've asked for colouring books for Christmas. So what? Go beef about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got them all a pack of them. Obviously I'm not going to get all three out, but I got all three of them a pack of those. I got this cutie. I could not. I, I just couldn't not. I don't know who this is going to yet. Um, this was about £8, but I just thought that on a shelf. I'm sorry about how cute. Got these again for Mila. Aurora will probably love playing with these as well. Um, I was in two minds about buying these because I thought they'd be quite small, but then I saw another pack with like a clear front. Um, it was a smaller pack, so I decided to go for this one. The blocks were huge, so I think they'll both really enjoy playing with that. Stressing out. I bought three of these Hollister perfumes, but there's only two in the bag. That's really going to stress me out. I need to go find the other one. Um, I think the other one was like a, a greeny colour, I think. I can't remember. But um, they were on my shop with me. So these are for, obviously, the three girls. I found it. <laughs> Just went in the other bag and it was in the other bag. So, yeah, those are for the three girls. And then I got this for Isla. She's going to absolutely love this. So... <laughs> Cute. She helps. She. Lo I think all of my children would like this. To be fair, and this one too. It's a leaf. Although Jace did see. Did it? Where did he see this? I think it was a picture on my phone. And he's like, "Whoa, is that for me? I love it." So I don't have to give Jace that, or maybe I'll give it to Isla as well because Jace does have. He doesn't have any teddies actually. Isla's got like three now because she's got one of the snacker snack snackables or whatever they're called. But um, I'm not sure. Maybe Jace will have that, maybe I will have it, maybe someone else will. And then I'm well chuffed with this. So I've been looking for Mila, a little tea set. I was actually originally looking for a plastic one so that she could actually put water in. You can't really do that with wood because it spoils the wood, although I'm not sure if it would with this. I'm, I'm not sure, I don't even know if it's a real teapot, probably not. Anyway, I was originally looking for a plastic one, but I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. It comes with a little, it comes with sauces and some biscuits, a sugar pot, a milk pot, a teapot, two cups, um, tea bags guys, look at them fruit tea bags, and then a tray at the back, you can't see the tray, I think you can see it on the back, yeah you can, so yeah, it basically comes with all that, and she'll be able to, I've got her a trolley for Christmas, which I'll show in a proper haul, obviously when we get back home, but it's like a wooden trolley. I got Jace this because it was in the sales like five pound um, and it does have some Playmobil action city, city action for Christmas this year and I thought he'd really like this set, I love the car, <laughs> it comes with an actual melted car and you can obviously put the fire in there and it com comes with also two little figures, I think he'll really enjoy playing with that, we've got him the um, police, all of the police sets basically, the whole thing. Um, so I thought that would go nicely with those. We've got Jace, the, Jace these snap-on dino builders. So basically, well, you can see there. These are so cute. You're right, babe. Oh, you're in so much trouble. <laughs> when you get it out like this, it actually does look like quite a lot. But I don't oh, feel I like a. No. Oh, what, what do you mean then? I mean none of this. Oh, what do you mean I then? I know about all this. Oh, what don't you know about? It's what I've just seen on the security cameras piled up on top of the wall at home. At home? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a good job. Don't say his name's on the way home from work right now, back to the house, to pick it all off the wall. <laughs> I wonder how many times that's been happening whilst we've been here <laughs> per day. But at least six or seven boxes worth of a wonky period. And if you want, I I'll put the picture up on the screen right now and embarrass you for everybody. Is that embarrass you? No, no, I'm not embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> but, but do you know what I'm embarrassed about? What? The fact that Katrina, the fact that Katrina sent me a voice note today that said, Sarah, you've taken over my house again. Oh, what is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? I don't know. Guys, there has to be an illness. It's like she's a magpie. She never stops. Like, I'm not. No, it just makes me so happy, though. Yeah, but, but, but it genuinely makes me happy. Nothing's for me. There's not even one thing for me, not even well it lipstick. Matter. It's got to be, it has to be some sort of illness. It's got to be like a Gambler's Anonymous type thing. It's got to be. Don't go that far. It's got to, babe, it's, it's, it's the same <laughs> principles. Yeah, but it's just for, literally just frit money just, away. Like, it's like, because we've got like, six like children. Out of fashion. It's because we've got six children <clears throat> and it's Christmas 
And there's always a birthday to be buying for as well, because we've got six. Okay. So, it's, it's all my fault. There's only a couple more things. There's only a couple more things. Get that suitcase, leave that suitcase out. So did you say you'd stop buying? No, no, definitely I'm not. I'm sure you said that a few times. I have. Leave weeks. that suitcase out because I want to pack all this into the suitcase. Right, I've just got one packet, two Amazon packages here that I've not even opened yet. And I'm going to pack this all in the case now because tomorrow is our last full day here. I loved this trip. Um, but it's time to move on um, and leave Dubai. So that's what we're doing. So tomorrow, sorry, is our last full day. And we're going out to, I think, I actually need to message. We're meant to be going out and meeting some friends, but I haven't spoke to her. So I need to message her, make sure she's still up for it. But hopefully we're still doing that tomorrow, which is going to be a fun day. I'm going to get all these packed in the case now. So we'll see you guys back here tomorrow at 5pm. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. And there we have it. Yet another day down. One less day till Christmas. You know, It's going to be um, the Christmas vlog. The What's it called? The Vlogmas intro is soon, isn't it? December the 1st, that's when the Vlogmas intro comes up for the, for them, but also uh, for myself, it's currently in production, doing it myself, obviously, not like Chris who couldn't uh, do it. Anyway, yes, that's something to look forward to at the end of this month, uh, beginning of next. So, if you have appreciated this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Until next time, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.